friends. Okay, so yesterday we continued our learning in unit seven, um, which is relationships of numbers up to 99. We're really focusing on these numbers, zero through 99. What does it mean? What does it look like? And we're practicing a lot of counting strategies, okay? So we've learned one more, one less, 10 more, 10 less. Yesterday, we focused on um, counting forward by ones from any given number. Okay, so if I said count forward starting at the number 72, you would say 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. If I said count backwards starting from at 99, count backwards five numbers, you would say 99, 98, 97, 96, 95. Okay, so we're doing forwards and backwards counting. Today, we're going to continue that skill, but we're going to count by tens. Okay, so I'm going to show you the same PowerPoint. I don't have a video for us to watch. That's okay. Same little PowerPoint where you're looking at my screen. We're going to look at 120 chart. We're going to figure out what um, the how, what's changing since we're counting by tens. What place value should be changing? The tens place. The ones place is not going to change at all, at all. Just the tens place. Easy, right? Okay, so. We know though, just some background knowledge, we know how to count by tens. Usually when you hear count by tens, you start at 10 and you go all the way to 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. But when we learn 10 more, 10 less, Ms. Hernandez said, you can count by tens from any number. So let's take a look at this, let's see. Okay, so you should see my screen with the 120 chart. Now, let me get my little drawing tools. We know that we can count by tens from any number. And when we're counting by tens on the 120 chart, we're not moving left and right, we're moving up and down. That is our tens, right? So for example, let me change this, ready? So let's say I wanted to start at 15, okay? So here's 15, I highlighted it in pink. And I can count forwards, by tens, ready? Are you ready to watch this? So that means I'm gonna go down the same column counting by tens. And the only number that's gonna change is my tens place. So 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, okay? Now let's say I wanna count backwards. Let's count backwards by 10, starting at 15. So I have 15, that means I'm gonna go backwards, so I'm going up, so it would be five. I took that 10 away, okay? Same thing if you wanted to count forwards and backwards, starting with, um, I don't know, 69. You would say 59, 49, 39, 29, 19, nine, or backward, or forwards, 79, 89, 99, 109, okay? So, oh. Give me one second. <laughs> okay, so the announcements are over, so let's get started. So we are counting forwards and backwards by tens from any given number, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So I have the number 36 on my screen, okay? Now let's look at number 36 and let's see what we notice, okay? So I know that I have a three in my tens place. So that means I would have three rods. And I know that I have a six in my ones place. So I would have six cubes, right? So I want to count forwards from 36 by tens, okay? So that means the only place value that's going to change is just my tens place. That's it, just my tens place. I am adding a 10 to my tens place because I'm going forwards. So my first number is 36 because that's what I'm given. I'm gonna find 36 on my 120 chart and I'm gonna move myself down the column because that's our tens, that's how we count by tens. And I'm gonna figure out what's the next 10. Well, I know, what, what if you're thinking, well, what if you don't have a 120 chart, what are you gonna do? All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one to three. So like if I had three plus one, that would be four. So then this number would be 46, but let's check it on our 120 chart. So I'm gonna move down and I'm gonna jump down. What's my next number? Was I right? 46, okay? And then again, if I wanted to change 46 and add a 10, that means I'm gonna do four plus one, 
which would be four plus one would be five. So this number would be 56. The six is not changing, just the tens. So let's check, let's jump down again. I have 56, yep. And then the same thing, I would add one 10 to my five. So five plus one would be 66. Let's check it, let's jump. 56, 66. And then again, I would add one to my six. It would be 76. Let's check it on our 120 chart. Okay, did I get 76? I sure did. So it would sound like this, 36, 46, 56, 66, 76, okay? So we just counted forwards, starting with 36 by tens. Now let's count backwards, okay? Let's count backwards. So same thing, I'm gonna start with 36. So let me circle 36. And I know that I have a three in my tens place. So my three in my tens place, because I'm counting backwards, I'm subtracting. So it's probably means it's gonna get smaller, right? My number is going to get smaller. So it would be subtracting one instead of adding one. So three minus one. So if I have three and I take one away, that would be two, right? So this number should be 26. When I jumped, I got to 26. So 36 is my beginning. I took a 10 away, 26. Now let's take a 10 away from the two. Two minus one would be don't say 10, six, it's 16. And then if I took this 10 away, cause I'm going backwards, it would be six. And then I have no other numbers here. So this is just left blank. Okay, 36, 26, 16, six. I just counted backwards by tens from 36. Let's do it again. Ready? So 82. I know that I have an eight in my tens place. So let me find 82 on my 120 chart. Boom, right there. I want to count forwards. So I'm adding a 10. My first number is 82 because that's what I'm given. Let's do eight plus one. Oh my gosh, that looks awful. Hold on. Eight plus one. So because I'm adding, that means I'm going down on my 120 chart. So I'm going to add a 10. It says it's 92, but let's check. I have eight and I add one that gives me nine. So this should be 92. And then really we could stop because we're up to 99, but let's just keep going because on a, we have more numbers on our 120 chart. So the next one would be 102. And then the next one would be 112. Okay. Now this one's a little bit tricky because we haven't gotten to numbers past 99. So this is just for future, but on Cecil, you won't have numbers that go up to 99 or past 99. Okay. So we just counted forwards. Let's count backwards. Okay. 82. So I know that I have an eight in my tens place. So because I'm going backwards, I'm subtracting. So my eight is going to get smaller. I'm starting with 82 because that's what I'm given with. And I'm going to find 82 on my 120 chart. Now I'm moving up on the chart because my eight is going to get smaller. So I'm going to count backwards. I'm going to jump back. Got 72. I'm going to jump back again. Boom. 62. I'm going to jump back again. 52. And then I'm going to jump back again. 42. Now I see a pattern, my brain's going off. I see a pattern. Look at your tens place. I have an eight, a seven, a six, a five, a four, okay? So that's all it is, counting forwards and backwards by ones and tens. You're still gonna have those number patterns and those are very, very important, okay? So now your job is to get onto Seesaw and you're gonna complete your counting forwards and backwards from any given number by tens. And then I will see you tomorrow when we do a new skill. Okay, so have fun learning and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.